Uh, my name is Yuel Mulatu and I'm from Ethernet. I'll be presenting you about uh, my use case, Ethernet Research and Educa Education Repository. It will be, uh, well, the, the first thing that we have uh, to make clear about is that Ethiopia has more than 33 universities, public universities, and more than 101 uh, private uh, colleges and universities. Uh, but all universities in Ethiopia do not have uh, any repository to publish their research papers, uh, their student thesis, and other publications to the public, uh, to the national and international research communities. So basically, there is no visibility to uh, the, the studies made in these universities, to the researches conducted by the students and the uh, academic staffs of the universities. This, these days, I mean, until now, uh, the following, the following, these things, the, the following things have been impossible to do. I mean, getting resources on previously conducted researches, uh, getting resources on pre previously conducted theses, uh, publications have been impossible to gather to get or having information about theses uh, with which, if implemented well and correctly, could have high socioeconomic values for Ethiopia, have been impossible to do. Uh, checking if a title or a thesis title or research title have been uh, already conducted in another university, in another college, uh, it was impossible to do. Uh, providing citability and authorship for the uh, publications that, have, that are made by the uh, researchers, scientific researchers and students in these universities have not been made. These uh, students, I mean these scientific researchers and students have not been uh, able to post their research and theses to the online community, I mean to the international global community of researchers and be uh, visible for grants and uh, continuation of their research. Uh, still, there is no uh, international uh, digital object identifier uh, provider in Ethiopia. So basically all these things, if they are even done, been, been done before, they're not being uh, available to the international world. Uh, and there is no uh, repository for localized content too. I mean, these universities do research and conduct research synthesis on uh, language uh, research, socioeconomic research. So those things mostly are done uh, on a local language, um, either in Amharic or Romic, Tigrayan, or any other Ethiopian language. So, ha having not being able to post or public, uh, uh, publishize research synthesis on localized subjects is another hiccup. So, what we are, uh, I mean, what I am uh, targeting to do to accomplish through this use case is uh, leveraging the uh, rich functional functionalities <coughs> of the uh, open access repository uh, of the Science Gateway that will be cloned here in Ethernet and uh, leveraging those functionalities of uh, the, underlying, the, the underlying platform in Vino to provide all those functionalities that I've described earlier. Uh, this use case, I mean this, my use case, will be leveraging parts of the use case issued by Mr. Yosef and uh, Mr. Bahailu at the Science Gateway uh, Hackfest conducted in Lagos, Nigeria. Parts of the, the, the use case. The workflow, uh, basically the users I'm targeting are uh, scientific research researchers in the universities and students, uh, undergraduates, graduates and postgraduate students uh, and other co university communities. Those users will be able to log in through federated, federated uh, identity provider that will be uh, provided as part of a use case that we are conducting today. Uh, they will be able to submit research papers and do all the uh, functionalities that the Science Gateway repository could offer. Since this, uh, since this use case fully adapts the Science Gateway Open Access repository uh, in the perspective or uh, in the need of Ethernet, it will have all the functionalities, all the data models that the Science Gateway Open Access repository can offer. The computing model, as we uh, have already uh, discussed before, it will be deployed on the Ethernet's private educational network, uh, cloud. Therefore, it will be it will have a pers persistent private cloud computing model, and it will adapt the technology offered by Science Gateway Open Access Repository, which will be uh, which will leverage the NVIDIA version 1.21 platform. My implementation strategy is quite forward. I mean, in the first, uh, my, my first milestone, I mean, that would be completed by uh, Saturday, I think. I will, uh, I'm targeting to finish category settings and submit functionalities, and then complete functionality will be the final 
Cool. Thank you very much.